Hello everyone, you are in Endurance Laser Lab. Today we are going to show you how to assemble 10 watt plus laser module. We have heat sinks, we have fans, we have laser diode, and we have air assist, we call it air nozzle. So here is a laser heatsink, so we open it, we need thermal paste for that exercise, so we put a little bit on the place where the laser diode will be inserted, actually a laser diode is already been in the collimator. We take M3 screws, 25 millimeters. Okay, we take a screwdriver and screw it. So, shouldn't take a lot of time. So, this is our own heatsink that was designed specially for 445 nanometers diode laser okay probably it will take for another couple seconds okay so make sure that you screw it very very tightly We have some extra thermal paste, so we need to remove it. So we have it already. So what we're gonna do next? We will screw the heatsink into aluminum housing. Also, we'll add some thermal paste on both parts of heatsink to increase heat conductivity. Our external aluminum housing will be used as an additional heatsink as well. We take M3 screws. And screw it. So it shouldn't be difficult to find holes. Okay, we have some extra paste, so we also need to remove it. So this is a regular CPU thermal paste. Okay, and we'll screw smaller M3 screws. Once again, to make it very, very tight construction. Okay, we can remove the lens to make sure that we clean up extra thermal paste. And we screwed the smaller aluminum plate for the fan. So we don't need it anymore. What do we need? We need an external heatsink. We can screw two fans. Well, actually one fan. 
Sometimes we add two when they are low power, so both fans could be one on each other. So we take tech cooling, in other words, Piltia, it's called Piltia. So one part is hot, another one is cold. So it consumes 12 volts, 5 amps, so quite uh, power consuming, but it does its job pretty well. So in this explanation, we show you how to find hot and cold part. So make sure that cold part will be connected with your laser diode heatsink and the hot with external heatsink. So it works pretty well. Like I said, 12 volts, 5 amps. But if you have like 12 volts, 6 or 8 amps, it would be even better. Also, we need to put some thermal paste here just to make sure that we have the best thermal conductivity. Okay. And also on the other side of this tech cooling plate. So now we can screw this construction together. So we have on the up we have a laser diode in the heatsink. In between we have tech cooling, and on the bottom we have external heatsink. We use M4 screws, pretty long one, 75 millimeters. So it's like three inch. and make sure that we do it very very tightly not too much because uh, you don't want to break it so tech cooling is still quite fragile so let's screw fan and in this uh, new modified version we have only two ACDCs, for one for laser and for tech cooling plus fan. Okay, so we have all wires in a certain length. So let's clean it for further soldering. Red is plus, black is minus, as usual. So we connected them together. Alrighty. Some wiring process. We'll take flux. red are connected together and black wires are also connected So this is our power jack.
so it's not that difficult but you need to make sure that you can get the proper size and some soldering process so we insert our jack inside the hole and we take a ring so let's take check uh, fans that are working Sometimes they don't, well, but just in case you do final soldering and final assembling, make sure that all your fans are working. Take two screwdrivers to screw the fan. So, final stage just take 12 volts and make sure that we have one part is hot is getting hot and another one is getting colder and the final thing that we add our air assist actually air nozzle so you screw it here And screw it so we can move it up down in any directions so 10 watt plus laser is ready so hope that you like this video please share it with your friends and have a wonderful experience with assembling your own 10 watt plus laser thank you and have a wonderful day bye bye